hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today as you can tell by the title we are filming another pretty little thing haul now i'm going to keep these coming every month for you guys because i love them so so much i know you guys love these videos and obviously they're my favorite too i mean if you couldn't guess what we we're filming by the title and the thumbnail here we are pretty little thing pretty little thing so in today's haul obviously valentine's day is approaching i'm going to be showing you my top picks my current favorites plus some valentine's day inspiration what you can have because they've got some lingerie on there they've got some nice sexy pieces they've got some going out pieces they've got some chilled pieces and you guys best know that even though i was doing a haul for valentine's it couldn't just be valentine's because i'm not being funny i dress in jumpers and joggers and yeah things like that all the time so we've got a bit of both we've got some going out getting glam for valentine's day going on a date kind of vibes and then we've got some chilled casual live vibes so if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe down below i'd love to have you back i do these videos quite often hauls are my favorite videos to film i also do vlogs very often too they are my most common videos that i do so if you like that then don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram because that's where you're going to see all of this stuff in action you may have seen this one on my instagram already if you do follow me and i've had so many questions about it because apparently people can't find it on the website so if i can i'll link it down below the link will be down there so head down there to check it out i'm literally obsessed of course this is a balenciaga dupe but i literally love it they also have one that with white writing so i'm really tempted to get that too because i yeah i love this jumper so much i think it's so cool um sizing wise i got mine in a medium so it's like baggy but not too baggy which is probably just how i wanted it i didn't want it to be too too fitted um i think the balenciaga one is actually meant to be a bit fitted i'm not sure but yeah that is this one for reference obviously this is the first item in the haul so i hope you enjoy it also i've got a new background which will be coming up in an upcoming vlog so stay tuned for the whole renovations of that but yeah let's move on to the next item of course this was the first one and i do quickly just want to say thank you so much to pretty little thing because this video is sponsored by them but you guys know that i am an og lover of pretty little thing and i'm shook and i say it every video but i'm shook that i actually get to work on videos with them now so thank you to them thank you to you guys and yeah let's move on to the next item so i have kind of gone through this bag already as you can see i've got a nice one already i've got three items that i've opened so i'll show you the next one because they're a little bit dirty because they are a pair of trainers and where i live where we park our car outside our house it's very like muddy so that's the reason for that but my fiance connor is gonna be really annoyed about this because i have so many pairs of white trainers that it's just a joke but when i saw them i thought i need these in my life so they're kind of giving me air force vibes i don't know if they're gonna focus there we go obviously they're a bit dirty do mind that like i said i've worn already but then i've also got this like cracking print around the side which i really really like but i like the platform on it i love the shape of these shoes and i'm not to be honest um i'm not really like a really branded person so these look like air force to me so i'm gonna get them because they look pretty much exactly the same i really like the style of the shoe rather than the brand like even if adidas had done like ones that look like this i'd buy them do you know what i mean like it doesn't matter to the brand for me um it doesn't matter to me about the brand so when i saw these on the website i thought i definitely need to get them i got them in a size four and yeah i've been living in these because i love them so so much and they just go with everything and they're just such a cool pair of trainers that are good they're easy to chuck on with an outfit i obviously wear joggers a lot so they look good with that but they also look good with the jeans leather trousers and yeah just my kind of vibe my cup of tea pretty little thing are on it so I also picked up this oversized hoodie because I was thinking even if you don't have a Valentine, it's Valentine's Day. I didn't want to base this haul mainly around that because obviously sometimes you don't have a Valentine's. But that's absolutely fine. You don't need one. Um, but do you know what? I'm torn between... Connor's asked me what I want to do and I kind of want to go out and just go out with me and him. But then I'm also kind of torn between just staying at home, having a takeaway, just chilling with no makeup on, having Noah with us and... Both of them to me just sound ideal, which is why I've also got some bits for that kind of side of things, that kind of Netflix and chill. I've been in a five year relationship, I'm married. Not that you shouldn't spice up your relationship and go out for dinner because that's lovely, you can do that. But me being realistic, we've been together almost six years. We're getting married next year. We are just such mum and dad now. Like obviously that's the case, but we just love just sitting on the sofa, watching Netflix, ordering a Chinese. That's a lie, we always get an Indian always and just chilling 
that's our vibe that's what we're about so this is for that um this is actually in a size small but it's oversized so it's massive so i highly recommend just sticking to your size unless you want it to be huge um and it's in this really nice like lilac washed kind of vibe color and i love it i'm pretty sure i got some cycling shorts to kind of wear with it um i'll double check in a second but yeah i really really like this and like i said it's oversized it's massive um you'll see in the trial clips because i'm gonna be trying this stuff on for you guys but yeah, this is my first item and I am obsessed. I've been wearing it a lot recently because, yeah. I don't even need to explain myself at this point. You guys know. You guys know the drill. So let's dive into the bag and try and find the... Oh, that's a lie. I've opened another thing. But I'll get on to that in a second. Um, so yeah, here's the matching cycling shorts. They're not actually matching. I just tried to get similar sort of colours. So I like, I like a whole monotone look. Is it monotone? Monochrome. Monochrome look. Is it monochrome? Is that what I'm talking about? Where it's all kind of the same sort of colours. So I just got some... Do you know what? I actually think I already have these. Um, but we've got them again. So they're just like this lead slinky cycling short, to be honest. They're in a size 10. And I just thought grey and grey together. I know they're two different greys, but I kind of wanted that. I wanted them to be a little bit different, but they're kind of the same at the same time so yeah i also picked up some of these i've got these in a size 10 these are really really good because they're really comfortable they're really nice it's slinky material and they're double layered so they shouldn't be see-through and anyway i'll be wearing it with an oversized jumper on top i'm not over the cycling short hype especially when it gets to like holiday time going to the airport i feel like they're just so ideal to wear i love them so i'm really glad that that even came back in fashion in the first place because i think it's a good staple to have in your wardrobe okay so next up we will just talk about that item that i said i did open which you may have seen in my previous video which also was a valentine's one and i just thought this was very very appropriate for that this i picked out for the reason of valentine's day because I, th I feel like this is valentine's day it's like a really dark romantic sexy kind of vibe do you know what i mean it's not screaming in your face oh my god it's valentine's day it's red it's just really nice and subtle and i'm pretty sure they had it in like a light pink shade but i went with the black now let's talk about this because i got this in a size that's why i got it in a size eight i did squeeze into it but i couldn't breathe i literally could not breathe connor is the worst person to help me do up things because he's just awful we managed to get it done up but there was no going back after that it was it was hard the reason i did this because i remember in the past i had a corset top and it was in my normal size 10 which is the size i am at the moment and it was too big so i thought i'll size down because i don't want it to be too big because it's like a corset i want it to be fitted um so i highly recommend sticking to your normal size and it's just beautiful it's just got this rose velvet rose sort of design on it i think you can see that yeah and i just think it's beautiful and then it's got the scalloped edging which again i just think is lovely i love this shape of top as well i like how it has the um the cuts on the hips it's really really flattering so yeah this is gorgeous i'm actually a bit worried about trying this back on because like i said it was a struggle now i did this order a few weeks ago so i can't exactly remember what i've got so it's going to be just as much a surprise to me as it is to you guys so this is a black oversized blazer now i'm literally obsessed with blazers they're literally my favorite thing to wear so i picked this one up and it's got some nice padding on the shoulders i don't know i tried i think i tried to do things in outfits this time but i can't remember what my idea for an outfit this was going to be so it's in a size 10 it's just an oversized black blazer and that's about it it's got some buttons here we'll try it on let's see what it looks like honestly i don't think you can go wrong with a black blazer i think they're really nice and sophisticated and you can wear them with like jeans and just dress them down that way wear a hoodie underneath i like to do that too so yeah i love a good blazer and this one's lovely pretty little thing do so many good blazers so i highly recommend if you're a blazer kind of gal like me plt hit them up so like i said i have got some underwear pieces i should probably move that because you can see it in the thing and we don't want that shall i just go through the underwear all together because i've got some that i want to wear as like outerwear to wear as an outfit as well right let me just get out all the underwear pieces and we'll go through all that all at once i tried to go with a few different vibes here so you guys could choose what kind of style you like and kind of just show you guys that they have got a range of different styles so first up we have this black bodysuit which i like getting lace bodysuits because i feel like especially when they're like black and stuff they're really good to wear as like a jeans and a nice top vibe depending on the like see-throughness around the nipples we will see but again under blazers and stuff they look really really good too 
So, first up, do you know what? These are just super sexy as well. Do you know what? When I see items like this, it just makes me feel like, oh, I can't wait to see what this is going to look like on. Because there's no better feeling than trying something on that you feel really, really good in. And I feel like sexy, lacy underwear can really do that to you. So, this is the first thing. Obviously, I'm not going to be trying this stuff on personally. Um, I'll insert the photos of the models wearing the underwear. But to be honest, the model would do it more justice than me anyway. But this is the black bodysuit that I picked up. It's kind of got the... Um, it's not it's not boning but it's kind of that sort of look um, which I really really like I think it's really sexy and really flattering just underneath and then we have the lace half cup kind of vibe and I just love this sort of design and I think it looks really good like I said underneath blazers anything like that I think it just looks really really good or like a shirt they're cute looks so I feel like you can get underwear like this and it can double up as other things too which is really good because you want to get your wear out of it so yeah, it's also really nice on the back, it's just a um, mesh and it's a thong. Yeah, I really, really like this and I got this in a size medium. And then I went, should I go for the other bodysuit? Have I got a couple of bodysuits? Yes, yeah, so I've got three bodysuits, one black one, one pink one and one red one. So, I feel like black, red and pink are just like the ultimate Valentine's vibe. So when I saw this one, this one actually gave me the idea of wearing it as an actual bodysuit. Obviously it's not as mesh, but you will probably be able to see your nipples. Um, so I would personally have to wear something on the top. I really like this pink actually. I don't really own much underwear in this colour. Um, but this is beautiful. I love again the piping. Is that what you would call it? I don't know what you would call this. The stitching. It looks beautiful. And that's done in a satin fabric which is really really nice. I've never seen this material on underwear before. It's not like... I don't really know how to describe it. It's like mini flowers. Is it flowers? I don't really know. Um... But yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And then around the back, it's just a thong and has a cutout detail on the back. That's the other bodysuit. I really, really like this colour. I've not tried on a bodysuit like this since before I've had Noah. So I'm intrigued. And then the final bodysuit, of course, I had to get a red one. So all three of these are slightly different. This one you can definitely wear as a bodysuit because it's got coverage on the nipples. It's not see-through at all. Um, so that's great. But I love this style. This is like the perfect sort of bralette vibe underneath a shirt and a blazer because it's got the um, the lace detail that sticks out more than the cupping does, if that makes sense. Um, so you'll be able to see that peeping through, which I really, really like. I think it's a really, really nice, sexy but subtle look. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this one. It's got the lace around the bottom of it here and then in the middle it's got mesh with spots. And I just think this is beautiful. I think this is beautifully done. I really love a good, sexy, nice piece of underwear. But this to me screams Valentine and I love it. I think it's beautiful. And I'm excited to try this on. Again, I got this in a medium. I didn't want things to be cutting me, you know? So, the last piece of like underwear, this is actually an underwear set. Now, I've never seen this colour before. What do they describe it as? Washed violet. And I thought it'd be really, really nice just to add a little bit of colour. Obviously, I've got the red and the bright pink there but I, like I said I've never seen underwear in this colour and I don't own any so I picked up this set and this is the thong that comes with it again did they do it in medium yeah I got medium and it's just this yeah I would actually call it like a violet mauvey sort of colour purpley pink and I really really like it actually this looks really comfortable the lace around the front is beautiful at the back it's just a thong and then the matching bralette I feel like you feel just a bit more put together when you have a matching set on. And this was the bralette and I just thought this one was beautiful. Again, you can wear this underneath something and I just love the shape of this. I love the deep V. I just think it looks beautiful and I'm pretty sure, why do I, I have an image of Jess Hunt wearing this. And Jess Hunt sells everything to me because her body, she looks good in everything. So yeah, I mean, we're not quite going to be on the same level but... I just love the style of it. I'm pretty sure you can get this in different colours. But like I said, I liked this colour. I think it was really unique and different. So yeah, I like this. I think it's beautiful. And this was in a medium too. So next up we have a pair of jeans. Now I've seen these kind of jeans on every one. They're the split front ones at the bottom of the hem. Um, I've never tried them myself. These are in the petite light wash split front jean. The reason I got petite, I'm a... I'm five foot four, five foot five, but the reason I got a petite is because I didn't want the split to be too low on my ankle, that it looked too long. Um, and I got them in a size 10, of course. I'm really funny about the colour denim I like, but I think this is a nice colour. I think it looks quite vintage and washed, which I really love. Um, and they're high waisted, I believe. I don't know, I haven't tried them on yet, but they look like the kind of vibe that would be. Do you know what I mean? Mm, I don't know actually. Maybe, yeah, I think they'll sit just above my hips, which is perfect for me. 
I love the colour denim and then it's got the split front at the bottom which I love. Like I said, I haven't tried that style before but I've seen it on so many people and I've heard good things about the Pretty Little Thing ones. But yeah, I was hoping to wear this with these even, with um, this other top that I picked up which I'm just excited for because it's beautiful. And again, I feel like this screams Valentine's. If you've got even a first date, this would be perfect. So this is the Blush Satin Frill High Neck Long Sleeve Top and they did this in white and I was tossing between the white and the pink but I just thought this top A was so Valentine's appropriate and B was such a nice colour. It's kind of like a champagne-y sort of vibe which I really really like. I got this in a size 10 and yeah I just thought this would look really really nice with the light jeans. I like these sort of colours together. I thought the white would just look a little bit too not bridal but kind of bridal at the same time i feel like white satin is really quite a hard thing to wear unless you're going on holiday or it's the middle of the summer i don't think white satin would look too gray i don't think i don't know how i'd style white satin right now i mean it would be perfect for my hen do and i can't wait um but i love this i love the long sleeve i think this is something i would pick if i was going on a first date just because I don't know I feel comfortable but it's like girly and I think it is it's not sexy but do you know what I mean it's quite it's quite nice if I I would feel comfortable wearing something like that to a first date that's the kind of impression I'd like to give rather than something like really open and skimpy not me so yeah I love this I think it's beautiful and again a size 10 and I was hoping to wear them together but now I'm looking at the colours I don't know we'll see I did also pick up some shoes, which I've seen these all over Pretty Little Thing, literally everywhere, this style. And they're obviously a dupe, a dupe of the, is it Bottega? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not one of those like really fanatics of designer things. Um, but I really, really like these. I know they do them in nude and they do them in black as well, but I thought the white would be lovely. And as I mentioned, I'm going on my hen do this year and I thought... I don't really wear heels so I was like this is a good size for me if I was going out this would be nice I also picked these up in a size 5 just because I have quite wide feet but I literally love these so so much I thought they were so stunning but like I said they do have black ones they have nude ones so if they're more your vibe then really really cool but um yeah I think these are also good night out shoes because like I said they're not too high and they're really in style at the moment and good for cocktails going out for dinner without looking too dressy so I love them we've got one more item left now the reason I picked these up is because I have some similar from Zara and they're just not what I wanted them to look like I mean I feel like this color leather or this color to wear on your legs is quite hit or miss anyway it can be very flattering it can be very unflattering now I'm still trying to work that out on me but the reason I picked these ones up because they're more of a biker design so they kind of look more not so like oh, I don't know how to describe it I feel like some materials like the leather pleather sort of vibe they look really unflattering because they don't have the structure of like a zip my Zara ones don't have a zip at the front um, whereas these do so I feel like they might look a little bit better and a little bit more structured in that sort of sense and I really like these I think they're a really nice way to go about dressing up an outfit they would look really nice with the white heels a white shirt would look so nice with these actually to be honest the white top of this would have looked really really cool um, but yeah I really really like them and I think it's just nice to try something different I love obviously neutrals I'm just such a neutrals person so I thought that would be a cool thing to pick up and it's like a little bit different to my everyday black leather trousers that I wear literally constantly so I really like these I got these in a size 10 so yeah hopefully they fit all right but they don't have belt loops that's the only thing I'm worried about um but with the zip we should be fine so that concludes my PLT haul this time around I really hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you are new head over to my Instagram like I said where you'll see pretty much most of this stuff in action because I do wear all my pretty little thing stuff because it's my favorite like i said thank you so much to pretty little thing for sponsoring this video like i said i'm literally shook every time i do a video and i sit here and the parcels come and i'm like what the hell am i like what planet am i on right now it literally blows my mind so yeah thank you so much to you guys for the support because otherwise i wouldn't be here without you i wouldn't be working with these brands without you so i do really really appreciate it and i'll hopefully see you in my next video bye